Welcome to Imaginary Oklahoma, a podcast about the 46th state. This is a story about Tom Mix, the swaggering Western star of many silent films shot in the 1920s and 30s. Author John Crowley wanted to capture his own childhood and the years he spent wanting to be a cowboy. It's sort of a memory piece, though a false memory. It reflects my family who took long summer car trips in the 1950s as my father changed jobs. We were five kids. We never went to Oklahoma, but we visited many tourist sites. Crowley never visited the Tom Mix Museum as a child, but as an adult, he found himself among the Western Star's saddles and movie props at the Unassuming Museum in Dewey. And that's where he got the idea for this story. Nineteen sixty-eight, and we are going to the museum of Tom Nix. It is in a place called Dewey. Dewey is what my father calls my sister, a Dewey girl. She lowers her eyes to not see him looking at her, and I have my guns on. I buckle them on every morning when I put on my jeans. They have ivory handles with rearing horses carved on them that look like Tony, Tom Nix's horse. My father's name is Tony, too. There is a horse on the hood of the car. My father said, we follow that horse wherever it goes. I watch for the horse to turn right or left to see if the car went that way. And every time, it did. But I am older now, and I get it. Tony was a trick pony. My mother says that my father's a one-trick pony. Tony can think and talk almost like a person, Tony the horse. The Museum of Tom Mix is Tom Mix, but Tom Mix is much larger than you would think, taller than the statue of Paul Bunyan in that other town. We go around to the back of his left boot, which has a hill as high as I am with a door in it. We go in, one by one. There's a stairway up to the top of Tom Mix, and it is dark at the top. Tony is there, halfway up. Then above Tony is the other Tony, after Tony died, and above him, another. Far, far up are Tom Mix's narrow eyes letting in the light. We are standing together. I love them all, and we wait to see who will start to climb. Imaginary Oklahoma is a collaboration between This Land Press, KOSU, and the Association for Independence in Radio. Find this story and more in the book Imaginary Oklahoma, available at thislandpress.com backslash imaginary. This episode was produced by me, Allison Herrera, and Scott Bell, with help from Rachel Hubbard, Stuart Heatherwood, and Annie Russell. Andrew Bones did our music. Special thanks to Vince Lavoie, Ryan McGann, and Joaquin Alvarado. Thanks for listening. <laughs>